Blessings to everyone who's watching me right about now. I have a word to encourage you. And also this is a word of direction, my dear brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, if you are new to this channel and if you are watching me for the very first time or if you have been watching me and you have not yet subscribed, I encourage you to like, share, subscribe and comment. It is important that you do these things because you are participating in the spreading of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, if you want to get in touch with me, if you want me to pray for you, you can send me a message through my WhatsApp number or my email address. All those details are in the about section of this channel. Remember that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That is what the scripture says. So let someone pray for you. Also, if you have been led by the Spirit and you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so by uh, going to my birth section. You will see my PayPal and you can be a blessing. If you have other ways to give, send me a message through my email or my WhatsApp number. There are many ways like Western Union, World Remit, and God will bless you. My dear brothers and sisters, today's word is your enemies are always increasing. Seeing how powerful you are in the Lord. The more you continue to walk with God, the more you continue to be led by the Spirit of God, your enemies start increasing. They have started taking notice. In fact, you are the topic of discussion. In that area that you stay in, in your workplace, in your school, in your environment, people are talking about you. Your enemies are ever increasing. Your enemy's enemy has become your enemy. They hate you without a cause. But my brothers and sisters, no matter how many enemies come up against you, if God be for you, who can be against you? I want to assure you that you are going to defeat your enemy. Your enemies, one by one, and they will flee. They will know that there is a God that lives in you. The creator of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, resides in you. So no weapon that is formed up against you shall prosper. Let me read to you a scripture that is from the book of Psalms, chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. Psalms, chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. And it reads, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with a voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all round. What a powerful scripture. What an, an anointed word to start your day with. The Bible clearly says, they have increased who trouble me. Do you know that your enemies have increased? Even the psalmist was able to notice it. He was able to discern these things. That the more God blessed him, the more his enemies increased. The more they started talking. The more they started gossiping. The more God uh, protected him. The more God shielded him. The more the enemy started talking. Because you see, some of you, your enemies have set up traps 
to see that you fall down, to see that you die, to see that you never make it. And they have seen you prosper. They have seen you evade those traps. And they're now talking. How are you able to come out of that trap? Some of them, they locked you up. But you are coming up. You are coming out of that trap. You are coming out of that bondage. Bible says, many are they who raise up against me. Not one person. Not two people. Not five. But many. Verse 2 says, many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. Some of them have seen you suffer. Yes. They have seen you go through that pain. Struggle with a broken marriage. Struggling with relationships. Struggling with life. And they are now saying that there is no help for you. They think it is the end of you. But it's just the beginning. Greater things are yet to come. It is not the end of you. God did not bring you this far to give up on you. God did not bring you this far to abandon you. I love verse 3. Verse 3 says, But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts, me, who lifts up my head. The psalmist, the psalmist was able to notice that no matter what has been happening in his life, that God is the only shield for him. This Tonight, I want you to have this in mind, that God is your shield. Some of you are facing battles, legal battles. Battles in your relationship. Mental I issues. Health issues. Divorce. But I want to tell you that no matter what is thrown up against you, the Lord is your shield. The Bible says, I, I awoke for the Lord sustained me. Do you know that God has been sustaining you? That you would have died a long time ago? But by God is mercy. The Bible says that his mercies are new every morning. Every single morning. I want to assure you that his mercies are new. God will sustain you. God will uphold you. God will uplift you. So trust in God. In whatever you are going through. God knows your beginning till the end. My brothers and sisters, until next time, God bless you.